do emotional abuse, yeah. but before that, the person who's really getting abused is him. The self-abuse is really incredible. He's uh -huh. constantly so mean to himself. Okay, well, we're going to meet some more guys that have some mantrums, and we're going to get some advice um, from Dr. Gary of what you can do at home if you have a man that has mantrums. Like, woo! -hoo. Okay, we'll be right back. say that the grown men that they share their lives with regularly throw temper tantrums or mantrums just like a child does. Now Stacy says that her boyfriend of three years, Chris, throws a mantrum practically every single week. Okay, so what's the type of stuff that throws him into the mantrum? Tone? Anything can set him off from a face somebody makes, from a comment somebody makes. It's just random. Just normal things that would not upset someone, upset him. They upset him. Yes. And um, so would you say that it's like a child? Yes. He acts like a child whenever he throws his mantrums. I heard that he will even say that he's like your son? He jokes about it and says that, yes. Like when he does, says he's having a mantrum and he's acting all crazy, he says like you're his mama? No, he's just joked about it after he Act has like, like it was very babyish. Yes. Okay, well this is a recent video of Chris having a mantrum. Leave me alone! Oh my god! I know it's a serious thing, but I don't know why I'm laughing. And you're following him. You have some like uh, brave. Somebody said issues. No, I, but but she had to capture it. I, I find that you're very brave to be following him when he's throwing things like that. Oh, they can get worse than that. Yeah? So that's calm. So we're seeing all the calm ones today. What, what triggered that mantrum? He was mad about an insurance policy. They quoted him an insurance policy for his bike, and then he went to purchase it, and it was a lot more. And so he was just mad. He was just really upset. what was upset. he throwing? Was that a helmet? That yes, black a bicycle thing? helmet. That was a I mean, bicycle helmet. Now, I understand that he was punching uh, holes in your walls before, too. Yes. In the apartment, he... He punched walls and kicked walls, and and he actually got us evicted. He got you evicted? Oh my gosh! So it's very serious. Yes. Okay. One thing you said uh, to my producers is that 95% um, of the time he has a mantrum because life's not going his way. Yes, he always says that. He says he has the worst bad, bad luck ever. And tell me about. Um, he was once a very religious person. Yes. Growing up, he said he was very religious. But still things didn't go his way, he said. So he just stopped believing in God. He still believes, but he's like, where is he? Where is he? Where is so he? So he thinks if it doesn't go his way, then, then there's no God. Yes. And it, has he ever been abusive to you? He's pushed me, but I'm afraid that it's going to escalate to more. Yeah. And are you scared when he's having a mansion? Yes, very. Yes? You're so adorable. Like, she's just like a sweet little baby. I can't, I, I mean, you have such, like, but so to be like here today to talk about this and then also to chase him with that camera because you just look like the sweetest little thing in the world. But obviously you're handling him, but you want a little bit of help, right? Yes. So when we come back, Dr. Gary is going to help you figure out why your man has mantrums and we're going to have him on the stage and we're going to hope that he doesn't get mad at me and have a mantrum on the stage. <laughs> okay, we'll be right back. To a study in USA Today, 59% of men feel conflicted between their work and their family lives because more men are trying to balance raising kids and working like women have always done. And experts say this struggle could be causing some of these men to lose control and to have tantrums or 
mantrums. Uh, Chris, uh, Stacy's boyfriend is here right now, uh, and we saw you have the, the mantrum on tape, throwing the helmets and being mad about the insurance and stomping off, and then you turn to her and says, "I'm taping me," like, and she says that was a calm one. So, would you would you admit that you do have a problem with the tantrums or mantrums? Yes, sir, I do admit that I have some problems with my anger and throwing tantrum tantrums. Uh, as far as turns, little things irritate me, such as I'm working on my car, bolt breaks, can't get the bolt out, so I throw a hammer through the windshield or something. So, wait, uh, uh, <laughs> wait, you said, so something's not happening with your car, you're trying to fix it, so you throw a hammer through the windshield? Because I get frustrated. And, and then what happens when you see that the windshield is broken? I feel kind of stupid because I got to pay another 150 <laughs> bucks. Yeah, to so correct the windshield. So have All you right. lost jobs because of your mantrums? Yeah, I've lost jobs. I've lost friends and family. You've lost friends and family. What family have you lost because of uh, having tantrums? My sister, my two sisters and brother in New Jersey and my stepmom. And what did you do with them to make you lose their relationship? Uh, I got, I was 15. I wasn't used to structure in my life because as a kid, I was really able to do whatever I wanted and we moved from place to place three or four times a year, different mm -hmm. schools, different friends. I really didn't have no one in my life to mm -hmm. show me how to like deal with my feelings. Like a lack of control and stuff, yeah. too. Okay, when you are having a mantrum, are you conscious? Do you know what's truly going on? No. Uh, I really don't know what I'm thinking. I don't know what I'm doing. Do you ever think you could hurt Stacy? I do feel like, I don't feel like I can hurt her because I do care about her and love her a lot. And I want her in my life. And I don't honestly know what I'd do if I ever seriously hurt her, which brings us here. So you do to... know that it's a possibility? Yes. Even though you haven't hurt her yet, but you've pushed her? Yes. You have pushed her. Have you hit her more than a push? Mm, once. That's accidentally. Uh, what happened, we were arguing in the room, and um, she started hitting and kicking me, and I just I slapped her, which was out of line for me. Mm -hmm. And then after I did, I actually I broke down, and I started crying, because I didn't want to be that guy. You didn't want to be that guy. Uh, Dr. Gary. Tyra. What do you think, Chris? What I like about Chris is he knows he has a problem that can escalate into something bigger. I agree. Yeah. Um, the thing that we see in Chris, though, that's a really common denominator is this mindset that the world is against me. I mean, mm -hmm. Chris has the idea that nothing goes his way, that the insurance doesn't go his way, his motorcycle, God didn't go his way yeah. when he was in church, and that builds on itself. So it ends up becoming this self-fulfilling prophecy. Nothing goes my way. He has a big pent-up frustration about that. The smallest thing happens, he has a huge explosive response mm -hmm. because he only gets relief when he releases that pent-up energy and it perpetuates he breaks a windshield mm -hmm. which one more time proves that it doesn't go right for him somebody else doesn't have a broken windshield mm -hmm. even though he's contributed to himself see how he digs himself deeper it, deeper and deeper what's one of the most frustrating personality traits for me and people is when they feel like there's nothing that goes their way nothing is right I agree. by them I see it on America's Next Top Model a girl gets eliminated and she goes nothing ever goes right for me it's like no we told you a million times to do XYZ it's in your power to change that but for some reason they keep saying nothing goes my way magic. what you said right there on America's Next Top Model is mm -hmm. you try to get them to see that they can affect what's affecting them yes and that's what we would try to do if we started working with him because he feels powerless mm -hmm. and he realizes it but it can change mm -hmm. that's the most important thing to realize is if you do get help you can begin to learn new ways of dealing with this mm -hmm. stuff. So do you want to get help? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, to get help? I believe you. I really do believe you. Because you know what you do, which is so rare? Okay, I might ask you something. I might say, well, Chris, have you hit her besides a push? And then you go, yes. And then the audience went, <gasps> Now, most guys, when they hear the audience go, <gasps> they'll back up a little and go, well, you know, kind of. You just keep telling the truth. <laughs> you don't back up. And to me, that's somebody that really wants help. You're not afraid of the truth. You're telling the truth because you want the help. And so I'm going to get you some help in your hometown to get you um, with a sound, good, positive, good mind. throws mantrums that you've captured on tape, log on to tyrashow.com because we want to see it and maybe we can help you too. Maybe your man can be big enough and man enough like Chris to come here to admit his issues and get some help. We'll be right back. Good luck you guys. The Tyra Show is teaming up with Modern Bride magazine to find the modern bride of the year. 
and you get to help pick a winner. Okay, there's going to be five finalists, and they're going to be featured on a future Tyra show, and a winner will be chosen. That winner will have a photo shoot for the cover of Modern Bride magazine. So, if you are a bride-to-be and you want to be a part of this, go to tyrashow.com. And you can also get more information on the science of love on tyrashow.com as well. Isn't that cool? Go to the website. You can be on the cover of Modern Bride magazine. You don't even have to enter America's Next Top Model for that. Pretty cool. All right, see you later.